They take a hit. The morning's gone. Have the dinner. Take a hit. The afternoon's gone. Have the tea. Maybe watch a film. They're gone. They're out of it. Extremely strong, cheap to make and plentiful. Plentiful everywhere in our prisons. Hospitalised officers. 25, 30 officers affected. People are demanding investigation. You shouldn't have to demand an investigation. You know, that could be catastrophic for that prison. Okay, so uh, we're going to be talking about spice today. That's not oregano, turmeric, or anything else. Cumin, maybe, or maybe saffron the most expensive spice in the world. Many years ago, well, not that long ago, you could buy a green plant-like material in a bag for a fiver legally. Various different names. Spice. It got labeled spice. It's caused devastation to the prison service. It's absolutely wrecked it. It's been a massive drain on not only the prison service, and it's not only had an effect on the prison service, but the ambulance service in general. So when it first hit prisons, and firstly, let me just tell you, yeah, I did eat food that prisoners preferred in or whilst at Forest Bank, which is a private prison, staff canteen had a salad bar prepared by the prisoners. And it also served the same food as the prisoners were having, which was way better than any public sector food. There were no complaints from anyone about the quality of food. However, whilst there, working in the segregation unit, we did find a floater in the food. I'm sure you know what I mean. That's a segregation unit at that time. They didn't have a VP, vulnerable prisoner unit, and we had VPs down the seg. Hence, the floater. Whilst at Strangeways, Cleaning officer, cleaning officer is the guy who looks after the cleaners and runs the servery at dinner. On that wing, it was a decent job. There was a lot of cleaners, the servery at dinner, there was a lot to do. You keep people busy and try and keep a massive wing that was like a zoo clean for people to live there. Whilst on the servery, a couple of weeks into the job, I was eating a sausage sandwich. The prisoners were all locked up. SO came downstairs with a few cronies. He said to me in a quite stern voice, Mr. Samworth, do you realise I can get you sacked and disciplined for eating off said servery? Okay, I thought, took it on the chin. Two weeks later, I just dropped a couple of cleaners off behind the door after taking the rubbish out at dinner, I came down to the servery to lock it up and said, S.O., SpongeBob, yeah, was eating a sausage butty with numerous other staff. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? You know what I'm going to say? My mate was stood behind him with a smirk on his face and he spat his sausage butty out. I said to SpongeBob, the S.O., do you realise I can get you disciplined for eating off the servery. <laughs> Everybody was smirking, trying not to laugh. Mr. Samworth, can I have a word with you in my office? That was just me. There was Crofter's Canteen at Strange Ways. If you were wing based, i.e. on the ground, cold face, yeah, you didn't get time at dinner to go over to Crofter's, order a meal, and eat it. It was the privileged few. They were officers and office staff. Apparently, the food was very good. Cooked and served by prisoners. Many, many secret restaurants, as they're called, within prisons, food cooked by prisoners and served by prisoners. I will tell you, both the kitchens at Strange Ways, which is a nice curiosity estate, and Forest Bank were immaculate. Just like your takeaway gets a hygiene rating people come into prisons five star for the kitchens and every survey which is on a wing where you serve food to the prisoners 
had a five star hygiene rating. I have eaten food prisoners have prepared. So we've got prison officers poisoned. A spicy curry, pun intended, psychoactive substance, absolutely lethal now. It's absolutely destroyed, destroyed prisons. Labelled the zombie drug for good reason. When it first hit prisons, sorry, when it first hit prisons, let me tell you, you'd see it, somebody on the excise yard maybe, um, take a few drags, throw a whitey, bam. I've seen people go straight down, bounce off the floor, no hands out as they fell. Prisoners would make joints, throw them on the excise yard. The dimp pickers, them that smoked and didn't have no tobacco would pick them up, unaware of their contents. Everyone would have a good giggle, serious stuff. Might be out for 20 minutes. The dangers are blood pressure and heart rate. Extremely high or extremely low. When people come round, they didn't know what was going on. They could become extremely violent due to high blood pressure, low blood pressure, heart rate, etc. Paramedics have been in the prison. Quite a lot of these people went out in ambulance. A massive drain. It's taken over now. In prison, people are drug tested and they get punishments. That worked when people had everything. When they were out of the cell, association, TV, playstations, all this stuff that everyone gets wound up about. You could take things from people. Now, they're back to nothing. And if people are on these chemicals, these spices, they don't care. They take a hit, the morning's gone, have the dinner, take a hit. The afternoon's gone, have the tea, maybe watch a film, they're gone. They're out of it. Extremely strong, cheap to make and plentiful. Plentiful everywhere in our prisons. Hos hospital, hospitalised officers. 25, 30 officers affected. People are demanding investigation. You shouldn't have to demand an investigation. You know, that could be catastrophic for that prison. 25, 30 staff off sick. Yeah. Shocking state of affairs. Will they find the perpetrators? Well, here's the thing for me. Some serious stuff has gone on in our prisons. At Franklin, a lad whose defence was having PTSD chased a female officer down a landing and stabbed her in the back. PTSD as a defense got him off that. For me that is attempt murder. Attempt murder. The consequences of your actions in prison quite often are irrelevant. A riot, just reporting on a riot now, or mutiny. Four lads who held their hands up have been punished. The biggest punishment was 48 months, four years. Not added to his 21 year sentence to run concurrent at the side of. That's not a punishment. It makes no difference. It's not gonna deter anyone. Like I say, we need to do something about the current situation in this country. Decriminalizing has got to be the way forward as it is now. Chemicals are a plenty everywhere. We're not educating our children. Destroying the fabric of society. 
thanks for your continued support thanks for coming I'll see they real forage forecast real people real stories real forage forecast